My name is Vicki Peterbo and I'm with Toronto and Region Conservation and also a member of Environmental Stewardship Pickering. Environmental Stewardship Pickering typically puts on a stewardship forum every year and our feedback from this year's forum was that there was not enough opportunity for interaction and for learning about each other's different uh, organizations. As a result we decided to create the uh, event that we're at today which is the Environmental Stewardship Pickering Environmental Volunteer Expo and by all accounts it's been an extremely successful event. We have 14 organizations here today who are all showcasing their uh, organizations and the different volunteer opportunities available to the citizens of Pickering. We've had approximately 100 people through the doors today and every single person who's been through has said that this is a niche that they've really needed to see filled and we're very excited that we've done that for them here today. Hi, I'm Bob Hester. I'm with Environment Stewardship Pickering. We're a cooperative group that consists of Ontario Power Generation, the City of Pickering, the Toronto Region Conservation Authority, uh, Durham Sustainability, the East Shore Community Associations and other interested citizens that are trying to make uh, the environment in Pickering a better place. Uh, one of the key things that we do is to coordinate people who want to volunteer with organizations that need volunteers, which is why this uh, we're here today. Uh, trying to match up people who want to do good things with organizations that do good things. Hi, my name is Silke Schick. I'm with the Pickering Horticulture Society. We are here today to try and enlist some volunteers to help us maintain the multiple gardens we have here in Pickering and a new one we are planning right now to build in front of the recreation complex. We meet monthly at the recreation center and if people are interested, they're welcome to join us there at one of our meetings and get more information from us. Hi, I'm Mary Williams with Toronto Region Conservation. I do stewardship within Durham Region. That's Pickering, Ajax and Uxbridge. And if you go to our website at www.trcastewardshipevents.ca, you'll find all of our events within the GTA. Hi, my name is Larry Noonan. I'm uh, chair of the Altona Forest Stewardship Committee, a, uh, a group of citizens in uh, Pickering who uh, look after Altona Forest, a uh, 103-acre natural forest within the city of Pickering. We make recommendations to the um, Toronto Region Conservation Authority for activities that uh, we might want to do there as well as restoration and rehabilitation projects that we would like to have done within the forest. I'm Dan Shire from the Pickering Naturalists. We're a local uh, nature organization. We have about 100 members in the area all the way from Scarborough out to Oshawa. And we get together 10 times a year for some uh, presentations and club meetings uh, which are held at the Pickering Rec Center. We have people who travel around the world interested in uh, nature topics and will come and present to us about trips to Australia and Antarctica as well. And the other thing we do is about 20 times a year we get together uh, as a group to go out and do field trips. We'll explore the Rouge Park, we'll go out to the marshes in Oshawa, and uh, so we have some very experienced birders here that are happy to help new people getting into birding and nature to learn more about uh, the special place that we have here in Pickering. Hi, my name is Michelle Pierce. I'm with the City of Pickering and um, I, the City of Pickering is also a partnership in ESP um, and we provide um, support um, in many different ways. Um, he, I'm here today um, as part of the City of Pickering and we have lots of volunteer opportunities that we'd like to get people involved in. Um, a lot of them center around um, litter cleanups and um, awareness activities so we have pitch-in parties and adopt park programs um, where residents can um, contact me and we can um, get them involved in cleaning up and making our city a better place to be. Um, as far as environmental stewardship Pickering we sit on that committee and help to plan a lot of the events and provide um, any support that the city can to those activities and it's something that we're very proud of and we are excited to keep it um, moving forward. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mandy Karsh and I coordinate the Ontario Road Ecology Group at the Toronto Zoo. Our organization is focused on protecting biodiversity from the threats of roads. So Ontario has a vast road network and we really rely on the public to report sightings of wildlife road interactions to www.wildlifeonroads.org. So that data will help identify where wildlife is getting killed on roads and help us to protect those wildlife for the future. 
Hi, my name is Colleen. I'm with Ontario Nature and today I'm talking about the Reptile and Amphibian Atlas. It's a very straightforward citizen science monitoring program where if you see any reptiles or amphibians in Ontario, you go to our website www.ontarionature.org and you fill out a form and you let us know where those reptiles and amphibians are because reptiles and amphibians are seriously at risk in Ontario and we need to keep track of their populations. Hi, uh, my name is Cheryl Santos. I work for Rouge Park. I'm a stewardship coordinator for Rouge Park um, and a biologist for Rouge Park. Uh, the park is 40 kilometers squared. Um, it's the largest near urban park in North America. If you'd like to get involved in Rouge Park opportunities, uh, you can visit our website at www.rougepark.com. And if you'd like just to join us for a hike, there are guided hikes that run every Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, and you can go to rougepark.com slash hike for a hike schedule for that. Uh, if you'd like to volunteer for the Rouge Park, uh, we, ha we have volunteer opportunities ranging from litter cleanups, frog watches, bird counts, um, and lots of different biological monitoring. Uh, you can email me at volunteer at rougepark.com and I'll send you some uh, updates on what events that are going on in the park. Hi, my name is Margot Sloan. I'm with Ontario Power Generation. I'm the Biodiversity Program Coordinator there. I have a few programs that we run in Alex Robertson Park and I'd like to invite the community members to come out and participate in them. We have two tree planting events each year, one in April and one in October. We also have a frog monitoring program at Hydro Marsh. We collect frog uh, data <laughs> and submit it to Ontario Nature for their herpetophotal atlas. We have a bird box monitoring program. We clean out boxes uh, each year and provide nesting habitat for local birds. And we also monitor what birds are using those habitats. And we have an invasive species removal program in Alex Robertson Park. Hello, my name is Sophia and I'm with Friends of Seton Trail. We are a group of people who take care of the Seton Trail, which runs north of Pickering from Brock Road and Count Concession 3 up to Highway 7 near Greenwood. So we are looking for volunteers who can help with doing trail maintenance works and minor reroutes and who can also help out with the steering committee to organize these events. You can get more information off our website at www.seatontrail.org. Hi, uh, Colin O'Neill with Friends of the Rouge Watershed. Uh, FRW.ca is our website and one day it'll be uh, brand spanking new. Uh, we're here uh, taking a look um, for volunteers to get involved. Um, we've got a lot of amazing programs happening in 2011. Um, uh, about five new wetlands being built, uh, six new restoration sites, um, mostly in Scarborough and Markham, but very, very close to Pickering. So um, we, we uh, take volunteers from all over the GTA. Uh, absolutely delighted to be here today. And, and uh, um, our number is 416-208-0252 if you're looking to talk to any of us for more information. Uh, Rachel Wraith uh, with Durham Sustainability. Uh, Durham Sustainability is an environmental not-for-profit. Uh, we do outreach in uh, the Durham region, so we serve all eight municipalities. Uh, today we're just looking for volunteers to help with our program outreach. Uh, so we have a variety of programs that volunteers can get involved with. Um, our Eco Driver program uh, encourages people to drive fuel efficiently, buy fuel efficient vehicles and drive less. Um, so there's lots of opportunity for volunteers to get involved with that program. We also have our Scuga Connections office up in Port Perry, uh, which is a great opportunity for students to get involved with and uh, towards their 40 hours of community service. Uh, and our Eco Business program um, is a, another great program which we help businesses with their sustainability initiatives. So there's lots of opportunity to help out there. Um, so we're really just looking for some dedicated volunteers to uh, you know, donate their time and their creativity and their skills uh, to help our important environmental initiatives. If you'd like to get involved, you can uh, go to www.sustain-ability.ca um, and sign up for our newsletter and you'll be updated on all our latest news and events. Hello, I'm Gary Strange. I'm a director with the Ajax Pickering Board of Trade and the chair of the Environment Task Force. The Environment Task Force is a program of the Board of Trade for our members. It allows our members in Ajax and Pickering to take a look at their business practices and make commitments to sustainability. Uh, these commitments are, are made through a three-tiered process where we certify our businesses for their e-efforts. Uh, these efforts will result in, in promotion within the Board of Trade, presentation of certificates, and the ability for our businesses to let their customers know what they're doing. 
Uh, our committee is made totally of volunteers. We've been very blessed to have the support of the City of Pickering, the Town of Ajax, Durham Sustainability, TRCA, and other private companies that have come forward and donated their time. Uh, we are the only Board of Trade in Canada that is offering this kind of program. We have been recognized by the Ontario Chamber of Commerce for our efforts and we've had amazing response from our members and we're always looking to reach new heights. I'm very proud of this program and what the Board has is, is done in terms of commitment for it and it's a way for our businesses to not only give back but create a, awareness within their companies and hopefully that cascades out through their staff and through their community. I'm very excited to be here and to have an opportunity to see volunteers and people that want to get involved and I, I think the environment this environmental volunteer expo is an amazing idea and we're proud to participate if you wish to get more information about our efforts and what the board is up to please come on to our website apboardoftrade.com and click on the tabs for the environment task force and the eco business checklist